Hey everybody, it's Thrifty Shopper here, and I'm here to show you my uh, Maggie Holmes embellishment swap. So we had a list of things we were supposed to create for four, well, three partners, and then we have the um, we have Mandy. Um, she's on YouTube, and I'll link her uh, web, her YouTube page for you guys. Um, but she's host, and so I thought I would need to make a. I'd like to make a package for her as well, so. I can give it to my swap partners and also make one for my um the host uh so this is Mandy's actually I'm showing you because I packed everybody else's stuff up um and I just kind of wanted to show you what I created all right and before I showed you those little cute little embellishment um containers for the shaker and uh they were like the little dessert cups um but I only had three from the clearance in Hobby Lobby and so I kind of created my own for Mandy um, I used uh, the Tim Holtz uh, embossing the one of the jars was broken and so I got the ones that you can screw all together and so I put all of my embossing powders in that long tube that all of them unscrew individually um, but they can all be stuck together and so I've got these little cute containers and I wanted to make that one fancy so I did um, paper cut this using a stamping up uh, paper cutter and it's like a lace in gold and then I popped it popped up the top here with some foam circles and then a bling on the very top and that's the lid so I've got the the lace the paper lace from the stamping up um, punch and then I have hot glued that around this the lid and then I've got some uh, foam circles. I did one and then a little bit smaller and then a bling on the top and I coated this with uh, um, The three-dimensional paint the nouveau drops in a bronze or gold color and that's my Sequence there my sequence mix that I created using a bunch of different mixes embellishments and shaker stuff All right, and then here's some punched flowers I've got about four different punches on this one and then I've done a little uh, golden bling and these blings come from the dollar store uh, they came with glue and they're called the fashion gems and they had like a this here glue with them and they're for uh, clothing footwear tech accessories sunglasses and more and I just used um, the glue the gold uh, dots there gold embellishments there and I used the garden party um, paper all right so we were supposed to come up with some cards with envelopes and so I made mine three-dimensional and I used gold thread and s did some sewing around the edge of the tag there and I just used a garden party paper there and then I have a lid and I also did the gold stitching around that and I made my partners each a bracelet like mine and so these are those heishi beads in the really pretty tropical colors we got like coral a uh, little rose pink uh, the teal two whites and a tan color and then I did a metal uh, like spacer bead I made a little fancy uh, paper tassel using one of the papers out of the garden party and I made a little um, butterfly using a punch and I got these tassel uh, headers um, from Aliexpress and they came up in a bunch of different sizes in gold and silver and then I also made a little tag here I stitched around it with some of that gold um, thread I put on some Tim Holtz stickers that are in the sayings uh, this says be you be your beautiful self and the butterfly I did two stamps or punches of the butterfly um, and then I did tiny seed beads for the body of it and I just I threaded them on a needle and then I put a little bit of glue on them and then I laid them right in the center there until they were almost dry and then I pulled the needle out and they stuck there and I just think it looks so cute because they look kind of three-dimensional. All right, and here's my cards. And I did uh, four cards, I believe, and they're all different. 
all right and they all have an envelope so here's one it says hello there and it's the swan and I've used the Nouveau drops and this is a stamp of the um, this is a stamp of the bow I've used the Nouveau drops and then I fussy cut it out and I do have a picture of that and it wasn't probably Nouveau drops it was like a cheaper version but it, I used it also on the gold heart there and I've used double-sided paper um, so the card is uh, blank on the inside for them to uh, blank on the inside for them to write and then I've used some of the edging of the paper uh, you know when you have the 12 by 12 it comes with a weird strange paper at the top and I used it cut it in half uh, I think it's a quarter and then I did the top and bottom of each envelope and I also did a little bit of glitter there on the on the feathers. Here's another one. I've got hello, and I've got a beautiful bird die, and I used a three-dimensional rose. It came in different um, shapes, and you just layer it up. And I thought it turned out really pretty. And then that one's empty and blank, and the card and the envelope there. Um, then we have the sweets. I wanted to make my own version, so I did get a punch, or I'm sorry, a die it, that had like the cake stand, and then it also, I had another separate die where it had the um, macaroons, and then I think the, the bow came from that one too. Um, I don't believe I have it in here to show you, but uh, so they're all separate, and I uh, also had like a little terraria where you could put like a desert inside this and um, I actually used it to cut the acetate in the shape of the clo the cloche for the dessert and I just put a little stamp there that says you're sweet um, and I might insert some photos of these dies so you can see what they look like and then that's the card envelope and I think I fancied up um, one set a little bit differently but I, I'm only showing uh, the one I'm giving to Mandy because it's not wrapped yet ready to go but I needed packing packaging tape so I'm waiting on that from Amazon and until I get it I have to wait uh, this one I got the stamps where they had the little house stamp and I did that and then I watercolored it and then I have a really cute uh, this is the mixed media um, die set from Tim Holtz and I used that really pretty foiled uh, gold foil cardstock and then here I've got a tiny little well hello there and that kind of sounds like my little intro I think it's so cute and then I got that and so that's the card set and then they got a cute little bracelet my gifts and then that just goes right into the box there and I did hand make this box myself and the little belly band and then so they're getting that little embellishment there and then this is my embellishment box and this is one of those magic um, sliding it's from tonic studios let's see where is it uh, I got okay this is it yes okay so this is the dimensions double delight magic sliding box I wanted to show you how it works okay so this is the box and I only decorated the top and sides and that comes with these cute little handles and you just pull it out and it's got two separate sides and they just kind of open up uh, together like that and on one side I have uh, little flags and I've got a little tag that I've put both the flags on and this tag it's uh, got a bird, a beautiful butterfly that I stamped, and that came from uh, the little stamp kit. I'll show you. It's actually down here. It was I was at Michael's, and I happened to see the the magazines, and they had this here paper crafter, and it has the bird, and the bird looks so much like the stamps of Maggie Holmes. So I brought it home. And then I tried to find a, a sticker that I thought looked kind of like uh, the bird. And I used the same coloring of the watercolors there. 
And that was my little stamp. And then I have one going the opposite direction. Nope, actually I ended up with two of the same ones. But I've um, used some puffy butterflies on this one with some hearts and in a little row here and some little uh, punches that look like tickets and different papers. And that's that flag. So they're getting two flags on one side and then I've got some rosettes. I've got a flower and I've fussy cut the flower sticker. I've did a flower uh, die cut in gold glitter. And then I've um, put it all on this really cute uh, rosette that I've made. And then I've got the bee stamp that I um, fussy cut as well. And then I got another little rosette. I was gifted this little cute uh, bow. And it looks like I've been trying to find ribbon like this since I got these. I only got three of these, but they're so beautiful. And they fussy cut them out of the, the ribbon. Um, so if you find that, please link it for me because I want more of that. Anyways, um, this is a ribbon. I've glued it together. I put another ribbon over the top. And that's like a, a golden beaded uh whoops sorry a golden beaded um ribbon and then i've got a little bicycle stamp that i've also used my nova drops and i did some glittering there um and some flowers there and i think it turned out really pretty and i have a little sticker that says love there Love this life, is what it says. And I thought that was just cute to keep my little um, my little embellishments. And then I've used the bird, uh, the Tim Holtz bird, where you um, get the different pieces of paper and you uh, put them together. And I've got the gold foiled um, heart and some nice uh, glittery paper or backing there. I've got my pokey tool, and it's actually the very same as the ones that I... It's not a pokey tool, though. Sorry. It's not a pokey tool. It's more like one of these fun pens, and I put the washi tape from Garden Party on it. It's just that I glued it closed, and I don't want to rip it open, and I forgot that I was going to show you guys. Uh, but it's one of these pens where it says, like, hey or hello there. And then it's got the different beads and I've wrapped the gold, the garden party washi over the top of the um, thread. Uh, what is it, bobbin? So that's what's in there. And then I actually made a pokey tool and I did my bows and I've got a cupcake from Poochie Tats. Um, I just had to make the cupcake, it's so cute. And then I've got some really cute um, pastel colored beads and I just I'm so in love with them I want to get another pack and then I've got these really pretty iridescent bubble looking uh, beads they're just plastic and I've just kind of used that Maggie Holmes uh, color scheme there and yeah I think it turned out really cute and then that's my pokey tool and you can see I ripped that one open and I wasn't going to do that to the other ones I thought I'd just show you what I I already kind of showed you my tutorial or whatever I showed you about these. All right, and then I came up with a little shaker. I didn't come up with this. This was actually another YouTuber. She makes journals, and um, she just I just started watching her, but I don't remember her name, and I want to link her stuff as well in my description um, because she makes these really cool journals, and she came up with these cute little... Um, I don't know, like little pockets, I guess. Um, so this is my gift. Uh, we we're supposed to give a gift no more than $5. And so I have this as a little gift. And then I've got a little bag of embellishments. And I knew I was going to do embellishments. I had to do that as part of the swap. And so as I was going, I always made sure I made extra of whatever I was putting on these things. 
so they had a little gift of embellishments. All right, and then so I just kind of slid them in the pocket here. And I have like a faux lace here, paper, one of those punches that make the lace. And I think it's just so cute. And I have a little tab there and then the different papers from the collection of Garden Party. And I just slid that in there. And then I've got their little gift here. And it's a shaker with my shaking stuff that I've gifted too. All right, and so that's the gifts, the little swap, the Maggie Holmes. I've also made some paper flowers. I think I showed these when I first started. Um, so everybody, every swap partner is gonna get one of those, or two flowers, the bracelets, the envelopes. So they're getting everything I've showed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have any ideas, um, or any other ways I could do things if you guys have suggestions or anything before I ship these off uh, put it down in the comments for me um, I love new ideas and like I said I'm gonna link down in the description the lady that came up with the pocket I just love that I even stitched it on the sides there oh and I used this um, Tonic Studios with their mystery bags they recently gave me these cute little shaker box uh, pockets I happen to get another mystery box and I got another set of the five by sevens so these were six by sixes and I folded them over and I cut them down about like maybe I don't know these are like two inches I think well more like two and a half inches and so I cut off a little bit of it <clears throat> but they turned out really great because the plastic is really thick and so you can put some of the hard chunkier stuff in there and it's not going to get all messed up and cut it all up and shred it <laughs> the plastic that you use because I have like little rhinestones and things in there if you can see that um, yeah and so I stitched it along the edge there and then these are all glued together and they can reuse this to keep their little stickers or whatnot um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, weekend is coming and, uh, come back and see me. And like I said, I will link these down in the, in the description, all the dyes that I've used and, um, the individuals that I saw that I got inspired by. All right. You guys have a great day. Bye now.